This is Mia, and this is my helper, Amber. First, I'm going to talk to you about a simple ear infection. You might notice that your dog would have um, some discharge coming from their ears or an odor. Some people notice an odor, but the discharge will often be blackish or brownish, and if you mess with their ears a little bit, you might hear noise, which would be moisture inside the ears. And there's a number of things that could be causing it. So you don't want to play doctor at home. You do want to take your dog to the vet. But if your dog is having quite a bit of discomfort at home and the vet's not open and you need to wait till tomorrow, there are some things that you could do if you keep a few things at home. Basic ear wash is sold at any pet store. And an ear wash is a liquid that you can use as a flush to help flush out some of the debris and potentially foreign bodies. And potentially I've seen uh, things like roaches and, and other insects with big wings that I've pulled out of dog's ears deep inside, not to mention ear wigs. Sometimes they do really go in the ears. And so if you have a, a problem that you notice with your dog's ear, you can use an ear flush to pour inside the ear and massage it a little bit and clean that out, but always use cotton balls to suction, to, to absorb the remaining fluid that you've put in, and it'll bring out a little bit of the dirt with it, but it'll also help to lubricate the ear. So if there's a foreign body in there, she may be able to actually shake her head and fling it out. And I also want to mention it's a, a fairly common myth that dogs, adult dogs, get ear mites. And that is really not true in most cases. The occasional dog will get ear mites in a filthy environment with lots of cats with ear mites, but for the most part, it's just not usually the case. They usually get a yeast infection and it can be due to many other reasons. So don't, don't go to the store and buy ear mite medicine, anything for ear mites. Um, go to your veterinarian and get a diagnosis first. But it, the other thing you can do if you suspect a foreign body, like out west we have foxtails, which are really nasty and won't come out very easily. You can lubricate the ear with olive oil and sometimes that will grease it up enough that they can shake it out. So that's a little home remedy. And if you happen to have any kind of an ointment from your veterinarian, this will calm an ear until you can get her to the veterinarian, but don't use too much of it or else the veterinarian may not be able to see what's in there when they go in and try to um, look at that better. So those are basically things you can do when you notice something's wrong with your dog's ear.